Hey, my name is Blake and I like making money on the internet. Today's video is about Pokemon cards and passive income. Let's talk about three ways you can do it. First off, I hate the term passive income. I think it's stupid and misleading and proves that people don't know what they're talking about. Passive income is like, oh, I'm going to think about money and it's going to magically appear in my bank account. No. When you plant trees and harvest the fruit, you don't call that passive food. We don't think being a farmer is a passive job, so why is making these entities that make you money later on down the line, why is that considered passive income? I don't know, but YouTube, the internet, people in general call it that, so I'm gonna stick with the words they use to get more views on this video. Now that my disclaimer is out of the way, let's talk about the ways you can make money down the line with Pokemon cards. And we're not talking about selling it, we're talking about three ways to make it passively. So you do the work now and later you still get paid. Option number one is a YouTube channel. Just like this video you're watching right now, there are tons of Pokemon card themed related videos on YouTube. It can be unboxing, it can be talking about rare cards, it can be strategies for selling Pokemon cards. All of these things will give you passive income, either through YouTube AdSense money, and there are some stipulations there about channel size and all that stuff, or just through affiliate sales. You can link to an eBay affiliate link and make money off it that way. If you're talking about the top 10 rarest Charizard cards, you can link to each of those cards on eBay, and eBay will pay you if you have an affiliate link. That's gonna give you money down the line forever until the video is, you know, off the internet or Pokemon become, you know, no longer popular, which right now they're pretty popular. Option number two is a blog. Much like a YouTube video, a blog is the kind of thing that keeps giving you money down the line. You write an article now and 10 years from now, it's still making you money. I have articles I've written on niche websites seven years ago that are still paying me monthly income. Is that passive income? The internet says yes, but I wrote the article, so I say no. I say it's smart income. If you want to make your own website, the options are limitless, but I recommend you start off with WordPress. WordPress is a free option to create content in an organized way. It helps you rank better in search engines and it looks nicer too. Again, that's wordpress.com. Everyone knows about it, but if you're new and you want a recommendation, that's where I go. Option number three is selling Pokemon related accessories, not like unlicensed scammy stuff like top loaders, like binders, like stuff like that using Amazon FBA. So essentially you are creating your own private label line of Pokemon not themed but tertiarily related products. They can be sold as sports card products, who knows? But the point is you are buying them, you're sending them to Amazon, Amazon stores them, and then you with very little upkeep are making money whenever an item sells. My channel is mostly focused on Amazon FBA. I have tons of videos on how to use that, primarily for used products. I don't do much private label myself. I have four or five products right now that I'm selling. You know, it's boring for me, but it's easy, reliable money. And if you want easy, reliable money, this is a great thing for you to consider. One of the most important aspects of passive income from content-based revenue streams is that your content remains relevant. They call this evergreen content. Now with Pokemon cards, you might say, oh geez, it's a popular thing now, but what about in two years? And you might be right. But what's always going to be popular is making money. So if you can formulate your content, your YouTube videos like this one right here, your blog posts, your podcasts, whatever you're doing to contain information about how to profit off of these interests, the chance it's going to be evergreen content skyrockets because a lot of people care about making money, whereas the best Charizard card, while it's popular now, might not be so important in two years. If you have your own suggestions, please comment them below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts, and I will talk back to you. I'll reply, I'll say, good idea, bad idea, or just, hey, that's interesting, because I know that you are thinking lots of crazy thoughts down there, and I want to hear them. All right, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, and if you like making money on the internet, well, check out some more of my videos, because that's pretty much what I talk about all the time.